In this video today, we're going to learn how to string together photographs, how to set the time for each image view, how to put in some beginning credits and also ending credits, and then how to use text animations and how to also use transitions in between our various images. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to open up a new file. Project name, you can call it whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to write down here stop motion animation, just kind of give it that name. Uh, we are going to save it. You want to save it on the desktop of your computer and we want to make sure that our project settings are set up properly. So our project settings should be DSLR 480p so you click on 480p and your selection is DSLR 640 by 480p 60 and you select OK OK and now we're going to go ahead and launch a new document so we're just doing standard definition and the images that we use which it was taken with a digital SLR Our first step is to go and get our media. So we're going to come up here to media, get media, we're going to click on get media and we're going to go to our files and folders and all I'm going to do is pull up a couple of different images that I photographed. Now these are not going to actually be animation videos um, which is not really so important right now uh, to show you because you've already practiced this already once so I'm just going to stream together a bunch of photographs that I have taken so I'm going to come over here to my desktop and I'm going to come down to Bill's folder and I'm going to select some images that I want to stream together. And I'm just going to go ahead and open and now all my media is going to show up right here and eventually what I'm going to do is just stream these images together so now what I want to do is I want to drag this down to timeline we want to make sure that we are on the timeline option here so I'm going to bring this down to timeline and I am going to change this a little bit so I have a little bit more space and I can actually see my timeline a little more I'm going to bring this down and okay so now I'm going to drag my first image here and put it on video one now I can slide this over and what that does is it lets me crop into my timeline a little bit you notice this little slide over button over here it lets me view my image uh, larger or if I slide it back it reduces the size a little bit so I want to work with it a little bit bigger right now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say show properties right now 
my image is two seconds thirty two and a half seconds. I want to reduce this down to half a second. Alright, so now if I go right click show properties, it's three zero, which is half a second. So now if I were to play that video, let's come over here. If I were to play the video, it would show my image for half a second. So let's put another video clip in and then we're going to adjust the time down to a half a second. And you see how I'm clicking on the end of the video click and video clip and moving it in. I'm moving it in. And now I'm going to go ahead and play this just to see how it flows. Maybe I need to make that a little bit longer. I feel like it was too fast. So, to do that, all I have to do is go back to the video clip and just drag it out a little bit. So now if I go show properties, it's one second. So now I have it for one second. Okay, so maybe that's long enough. Okay, so I put it on pause for a moment just to go ahead and put in all my video clips so that you guys didn't have to painstakingly watch all that. So we go through here, we have them set in for like a second each, just clicking through the images. And they're all up for a second. Now if you were doing stop motion animation, your pictures would flow from one image to the next. And there we go. Alright, so from time to time you're going to need to render your project, okay? Um, so to do that, you just click on enter and you'll see this little box comes up called rendering and it'll tell you how many frames you need to render. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put our debut video on hold. Okay, so now our video clip has rendered and what's 
happens is you'll see that um, let's come back here to come on Adobe okay so what you'll see here is that this is green now so that means that this is rendered and that it will play pretty much um, real time so let's go ahead and play that we can see that the images go from one to the next with about a second in between okay alright so now what we're going to do is we are going to add in some beginning titles on our project um, so I'm going to come up here with my little pointer tool and I'm going to select drag and highlight all of my images and now I'm going to slide them over a little bit okay I'm going to leave a little bit of space in front for me to put in my my titles at the beginning. One thing I want to point out is in order for my project to render, I need to have this top bar here has a little slider. You'll notice I can move it in. Okay? It needs to be in everything that I rendered needs to be within this gray area here okay um, you can see I can move this all the way to the beginning of our or the ending of our clips okay so from here you'll see like I have a little slider on the left and a little slider on the right everything in between must be grayed in you'll see that this is blacked out this represents the area that I'm rendering so for example if you just wanted to render a small section of the video you could take these little sliders and move them in and only this section of the video would be rendered okay so when we're working however we want to have most of the video uh, selected so that we can render so I'm going to slide this all the way to the left and I'm going to move this all the way to the right and I'm going to give a little, little bit of uh, space here on the end here because I am going to need to add some ending credits okay so now we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit bigger clip here going to zoom down kind of slide this down you'll notice on the left here that we have um, a few different track lines we have audio we have video we have narration we have soundtrack if we go up we have video 2 video 3 with audio 3 audio 2 so right now we're working on our video 1 track and eventually we will be adding some music down here to our soundtrack or we can even put it on the audio track it really doesn't matter um, we can put it our, our sound in here on the audio or on the soundtrack um, for our our title we are going to move our cursor here to the left to the beginning and we're going to click make sure our cursor you see is the red line here we're going to click on this little T which stands for text and what's going to happen is a text bar is going a text section is automatically going to pop up here okay alright so now it's allowing us to put some text now we can keep it here on the video one or we can move it up here to the video two it's up to you um, where you want to place it and we're also going to adjust the length of this so let's give this a title and I'm gonna call it 
image collage. Okay, and now I'm going to use my little pointer tool. This is very similar to um, to Photoshop, and we're going to place it in the center. Make sure that we're about the same distance from this inner white box so the ends and the beginning are about the same and this is about center here and now I'm going to click on my T again and I'm going to select this and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose a textile and I'm just looking at my different textiles. Let's see what I could. I'm going to click on mm, I don't like that. How about this one? I don't want it to be I want it to be centered and I don't really want it slanting letter so much so maybe I'll try this one all right and I'm also going to lower my font size a little bit and now I have to recenter it And I'm thinking, I'm just going to leave it like that. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to give it a text animation. So you click on this little arrow here and you open up the text animation box you will see that there are lots of different types of animation so if we scroll down here I'm going to do um, a zoom in if that's an option I have Uh -huh, right here. So I'm going to do that one which is called focus in. Now I can only animate one line at a time so I need to select my animation only on one line at a time say apply and then say done. Now I'm going to have to render this again. We can see here that this is all in red. But before I do that I might as well put a little transition in here between my title and my first image. So if I come up here to edit and go to transitions, I'm going to do a little very basic cross dissolve. I'm going to bring that right down here. Put that right in the middle there. You see how that goes right in, in between the middle of the image. And now I'm going to go ahead and render. So I'm going to go enter. It's going to start to render. So I'll go ahead and put the video on hold while it's doing that. Okay, so um, it did the render. Now I'm going to go ahead and play and you're going to see the results. All right, so that works. Now I'm not going to worry about putting transitions in between our little video clips um, because the soft animation is not meant to have that. So um, now that I have my beginning title in, I'm going to check to see if it's long enough. I think it is. I think it is long enough, so let's play it.
Okay. So now it's time to do our ending credits. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide down here to the end. And I wish this would stop. Please stop. Thank you. Um, I'm going to slide in to the end and I'm going to add an ending credit. Now for the ending credit I'm going to put by Christina Salinas and then I'm going to have some more credits that are going to have music, uh, the artist and the title of the song. Um, so this is going to take more than one line so I'm going to put my cursor right here at the end so that my text goes in right here on the first line. Alright, so there's my little video clip text. Okay. I'm going to select Alright, so I'm going to select my text. I don't know why my computer's thinking right now, but it decided that it wants to think. Let's put this video on hold. Okay, so my computer is deciding to think some more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select my add text. I'm going to put by. Actually, I'm going to capitalize the by. Now, I want to use the same textile that I used earlier, so I'm going to scroll down and select the same textile. Okay. We want to keep it uniform, and I'm going to move it up a little bit so that it's centered with the line, the little marker right here above. So this little square is lined up with this one and it's slightly above these two markers on the sides. Okay. And now I'm going to move my cursor back to the beginning. Make sure my little cursor is at the beginning. And I'm going to click in this video two box and I'm going to click on text and video. You'll see that another title comes up. I'm going to double click on that title. All right, computer, it likes to think here. Uh, and pull up my title box so I can make a change in it. Move it slightly over so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Now I'm going to select this. Excuse me, I just sneezed. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to move my name down. Move, please. Alright, so let's select the same font that we used at the beginning. Come down here, I'm going to click on my Hobo Medium Gold 58. Ooh, okay. All right, I clicked done when it didn't work. So let's go back to that font. Sometimes you may have to... My computer's running a little slow today, so... Let's put this on pause. Okay, so now I'm going to resize my font because it's a little bit big. So I'm going to move it down, make it a little bit smaller. It's got to fit in between this inner box here. Use my little pointer to position my name. I'm going to center it with this little marker here. This little marker lines up with that marker. And the by 
it's going to be above, my name is above that, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And there we go. By Christina Salinas. Okay. So now I've got two. And I'm thinking that I might want to, well, I think by is okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my text animation. So I'm going to click on here. And again, I'm going to use the same animation that I used earlier, which is the focus in. So I'm going to go down to my focus in. And let's find my focus in. There you go. So move this down a little bit. Make sure I've selected my focus in. You can see the little white line on it. And I'm going to say apply. Done. OK. And now I'm going to click on my buy. Make sure I've selected my buy. All right, so there, my buy is selected. Just keep left clicking on until you the text animation box comes back up again. Uh, come on. Put this on pause. Okay, so I'm going to click on my text animation. You can see our by is selected here. We don't see the other word. Click on my text animation here, and I'm going to scroll down to the focus in. There we go. I'm going to click on that one. Make sure it's white line is around the box so I know it's highlighted. Say apply and say done. Okay, so now I need to put a transition um, between my last image and my ending credits. So I'm going to do a cross dissolve right here between the two, right in the middle. Also, I'm going to put a cross dissolve on this title here, and then another cross dissolve, or there's another way to do it, and it's called fade out. You can do it when you have a black background, which is what we have. So if I right click, and I come up here and go fade out video. I could, it'll fade out on the end, and if I do right click here on the video clip, he, on the image clip here, I go to fade, fade out video. It'll fade out. You can see this little yellow line going down? That's the fading right there. Okay? So we're going to still be adding another, another text box to this. So I'm going to come down to the end of this. But before I do that, I actually need to add my music. So I'm going to back this out so I can see all of my clips a little bit easier here. And move the slider all the way to the left. And I'm going to go and get my music. So I'm going to go to Organize, Get Media. I'm going to go to Files and Folders. And I'm going to come up. I'm just going to get some kind of ambient music. It's not going to be anything too wild. Um, gonna, I have a perfect example of what I want to get for that. So let's put the computer on the program on hold while I get that. Alright, so I've gone to a folder and I'm getting this, it's called City Ambient 
and it's by Sole. So I'm going to say op open. And you're going to see the music load here. And now I'm going to drag it down to my audio line. But before I do that, I'm actually going to, first I'm going to click on this and you'll see that you can pull up your own little window. And you can do this with video clips too. So if I play this, I hear some Asian talking, Asian language. Um, I don't know what language, I think it's Japanese. Um, I'm going to set it in right there because I want to hear some music, more music. And then I'm going to push play again. And then, I don't know, I need a 24 second timeline here. So, I'll come out here a little bit longer, maybe until like 30 seconds or so. And then I will click set out. What that does is it shortens it and now I can take this and bring it down, drag it down, I'm going to close that out and now I'm going to drag it down to my soundtrack, drag it down to my soundtrack and alright I'm trying to l have a smaller view of this because it, the, the video clip even though I clipped it shorter it didn't do it so let me figure out what's going on here put you on Actually, it did do it, it's just that because I had such a large view, I wasn't able to see everything. So, I'm okay. It did clip it down to a little bit less time. I may need to stretch it out a little bit longer because I do have to put at least one more ending credit with, the, you know, giving credit to the artist. So, I'm going to render this at this time because I want to see how this music works with my, my clips. So I'll put this on pause and render it. Okay, so it's done rendering. Let's go ahead and play this. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, let's check the ending by Christina Slims. Make sure it's not too quick. I think I think it could be a little bit longer, but it's not too bad. Play it again. Okay, so we're going to come down here, we're going to put this on pause, and we're going to move this slider down. Well, not that slider. <laughs> we're going to move this little blue slider down to the end where we were working with our title. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger so that I can see more detail in my frames here. Um, and I'm going to 
move this right to the end. Okay, and I'm gonna Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my text. I move this over a little bit so I can see my text box. Okay, right now with it being on the end, I, I really can't see my text box. So I'm going to click on my text box here. If it'll come up. All right, so it came up. And I'm going to select this. I'm going to put music by. Okay, so that will be our first one. Um, we're going to make sure we select the correct textile. And I'm going to move it up again. I'm going to center it with that line right here. Make sure it's centered on the left and the right. And then I'm going to do a text animation. Which is going to be the focus in again because with the music, I think it really goes well. Select the focus in, say apply, and done. And then I'm going to add another text box right here above that. Uh, click in that text box right here so and click the T and up comes my text box and I'm going to slide this over slightly and double click on it so that my text comes up And it takes a little bit of time sometimes for my computer to think here. All right. So I'm going to Soleil. The, the, going to select this Add Text. All right. And I, print, I went ahead and typed in Soleil. And now I'm going to come down here and select my same font. And I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to center it lower. right above that little center line right here and bring it up right a little bit lower than these center lines but in, but make sure it's centered on the left and make sure it's centered on the right and then I'm going to come over here to text animation going to scroll down click on my Focus in, say apply, and done. Um, now I'm going to come up here to edit, and I'm going to add a cross dissolve. 
um, at the end because I already have a fade into and we may need to add in a fade we have a fade out we may need to add in a fade in on the on title 05 and then on title 04 but we will see um, first how it works so I'm going to actually click on this and I'm going to say fade I, yeah you know what I think we should do we should do fade in video and right click and do fade out video and now I'm going to right click on this bottom one and go to fade in video right click fade out video and we can see this little line here okay you see how this yellow, yellow line goes down and then it goes up stays even goes down same thing is happening to the title track above now we're going to come down to our soundtrack and we're going to extend out our soundtrack to the end here and we also need to extend this little cursor at the very top here to make sure that our video clip is completely rendered to the end so slide that out and, and our music we're going to want to fade out our music at the end so we're going to say fade fade out audio and that will we can move it up to our audio track if we wanted to which will show us exactly where our music is fading out do you see that okay I actually like to work on the audio track line but you can work on the soundtrack if you want to like once you have your audio or your sound in place you can move it down to the soundtrack um, line especially if you have audio and soundtrack together sometimes you might have like music playing with a voice at the same time so it's time to render this to see how this is going to look so I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause okay it's rendered and our video is completely green going all the way from the beginning all the way to the end I'm going to go ahead and scrub this down here this is called scrubbing when you move this cursor up and down your video timeline going to click on the play button and we're going to go ahead and watch the entire video all the way through to make sure that first of all we're going to make sure our titles are spelled correctly that they're centered correctly that um, you know the animations move well and that they're not too fast and then we're going to also look for the transitions between the title to the images and then at the end we're going to watch the transition from the last image to the ending credits and then uh, the transition between the credits and we're also going to make sure that the music flows so there's a lot of things that we have to check for but as you watch it if something just doesn't seem right you need to fix it okay so stop this hey how this keeps playing over and over again and it doesn't stop anyway okay so um, that worked out pretty well I think we could read everything and uh, what I want you to do is um, as you work on your stop motion animation you're gonna play this video and you're just gonna re reference back to this video as you work on your project